What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Courtney. So I really want to get into my hair and really get some close-ups for y'all to see how my hair is budding. I started my locks on January 1st this year. It is March 4th. We two months in. Shout out to the type 4 hair and all of that. This has been the wall that I've been filming on. I have some wallpaper and I'm thinking about what we think. this little corner not to do got about five little pieces of scraps like just enough to cover this part of the wall. Right, I'm gonna figure out what I want to put there. I don't know. Either way, I really just was making this video for real for real even though I got sidetracked by my ADHD to do this. <laughs> I wanted to show y'all that my locks are literally already budding. It's my technique and it's the fact that I have type 4 hair y'all. My hair is already budding. Here are some things to look out for when you are trying to figure out if your hair is budding. Sometimes some of y'all, y'all looking too soon, you know. <laughs> There's no reason why you should be looking in two weeks talking about my hair budding, okay? And my hair definitely wasn't budded after the first month. But I've noticed some differences actually within the last few days. And I'm like, hold on y'all, hold on. Look at this. For most of them, it's pretty much like at the same spot. First of all, get into this style. That's definitely been holding me down. Star lock girlies know the two ponytails will get you right before you can get your your one ponytail. They're crinkly because I took out my two strand twist that I did when I twisted them. My little edges, I told y'all they was gonna be have they was gonna grow in. So they they doing their thing. They growing in slowly because I haven't been using my fuller tree. Baby, I actually have not been putting this on in some other time. Do this both sides. Collage patterns as well. Make sure it don't run down on the makeup. That's why we only put two drops. You don't need lots. You want your your oil to be lightweight. The edges in this middle is where I put the majority of this. Okay, back to what we were supposed to be doing, okay? <laughs> it's showing y'all my budding. Pretty much most of them have the budding in certain areas. That's where I'm noticing that some of my locks are different sizes. Um, and I actually like that. Yeah, you can see this part right here. Boom, boom, boom. It's a little thicker than the end of this twist. Yeah, that thing budding, and it's kind of giving me an idea of what my lock size is going to be. This little area right here. So that lock is going to be about that thickness, which I, I knew. <laughs> this is very going to be similar to the part. Yes, I love that. Definitely making me more excited. Look at this one. Yeah, get into it. It's not solid. But it's definitely giving like firm, you know? Yes. <laughs> if my lock turns out to be 
that size that is exactly literally exactly what i was going for but you can see kind of where my hair was coiled recently and this budding part and then the two strand twist that's left right here ah! i try to tell people not to not to be pressed over this part you know because if it's not happening as soon as you think then you start thinking you doing something wrong then you start being overzealous and doing too much to your hair okay don't stress over it but there's nothing wrong with getting excited okay i might as well go ahead and show y'all like my nighttime routine as far as my locks and what i do to tie them up yeah i just sprayed my hair yesterday so it feels great the oil was perfect i don't need any hydration it'll get that in the morning when i shower I'm just go through and show y'all exactly like show y'all and me because i'm gonna look back at this footage like come on look on them but yeah i am loving my hair so far but i knew i would but i would not as much as you can try to get your locks to lay flat so that you don't accidentally tie down and one is this way because then once you wake up that joint won't be standing straight up locks are love to do that they love to betray you it's giving me when i was a teenager you can try to guide me but best believe i'm gonna do my own thing all right let's make sure all of this in there as much as you can stand it but it should feel secure though but it should not be painful no reason to get a headache if it's tight that means you're also putting tension on your edges and there's no reason to do that you ain't gotta be that flat okay go ahead and put my bonnet my hair is tied up i'm about to get this face together if i can get it off i'm so beautiful <laughs> you can't cute a little bit <clears throat> So I got some coconut oil, clean my mix off with this. And this, out of anything I've ever used, this gets it the cleanest, I ain't gonna hold you. Just make sure I really get in there. I didn't do my eyebrows today, so. got a new one but the old one takes forever to finish like why there's still some in here the only way i could throw it away is like once i be doing all this and like nothing else is coming out that's when i could throw it away but it's also taking forever to be done i guess i'm getting one bang for my buck but do you still have to store the almost empty one i use cold water and i use these disposable Super absorbent, the super absorbent daily clean towel. I love them. I would, I would definitely keep buying these. I want to get everything. Now, like the coconut oil makes it so like my skin isn't like squeaky squeaky clean. Like it's clean. It don't got no no product or nothing on it. But that oil, I just left that a nice little softness and like suppleness. I also got these drops that I just used for the first time yesterday. So I'm not going to tell y'all that they do nothing magical. I bought this because I wanted vitamin C. I was looking for vitamin C, but I saw that it also has hyaluronic acid in it. And I was going to buy them separately. But I'm like, this is one with already any. It's a serum. I'm putting them on my lips too. And I'm going to bring it down to my face. I'm going in with my Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion. Just for my middle there. I'm simple, y'all. I really, those 10 step routines, maybe one day I would love to get there. Oh, 
No. No. I just dropped it. Good thing we still got some in there. And good thing I'm the owner. <laughs> I found these little um, samples that I had made like a few years ago, actually. Um, and best believe I'm going to use use it. But yeah, signing off. Now my next video should be more educational. The last video that I did that was a little bit vlogish type. Y'all definitely told me that y'all liked it. So yeah, I'm going to get out of my own head and just share. Okay, so this is my nighttime routine. I'm about to take my little butt the bed with my big butt the bed. <laughs> and I'm going to catch y'all in my next video. Take care.